Hi guys, it's Fierce Asia here, back with another video, and today I am going to be doing a Draw My Life video. Just a little disclaimer, I'm not the best at art, but I'll try my best. Okay, so here's a fun fact. Um, I actually was born with brown hair, and right now I have blonde hair. Um, I, I, um, anyways, I was born two weeks late, so I was heavy. I was nine pounds, born in 2005, and for those of you who don't know my name is Alice I was named after my um, dad's mother who died before I was born and then when I was around two years old my mom and dad started fighting a lot and for a two-year-old I don't really know what's going on um, and then here's a funny story for you um, so one time my mom and dad were actually fighting because my dad thought that my mom liked her boss um, because they, uh, like, my mom would come home and say, oh, he, um, said a funny joke today, and I guess my dad thought that my mom liked her boss, so one day he went to McDonald's and bought a bunch of hamburgers and threw them at my mom's boss's car. So then my mom decided to go to the church and ask the people there what she should do because divorce is bad and everything. And she told them that he's a good father to me. He just doesn't listen. So what they told her is he's not being a good father if he's treating you this way in front of your child. So they ended up getting a divorce. And as a three-year-old, I didn't really know what was going on because, like, I was only three. I didn't know why I didn't see my dad for another year and stuff like that and then a year later when i was four years old um my mom just tucked me into bed and she read me a bedtime story because i would not go to sleep when i was little or without a bedtime story i don't know why but i would scream and cry until my mom agreed to read me one so then i heard a knock at the door and my mom was talking and i heard her say why are you here and i decided to get out of my bed and walk and I looked out the window because we our old house um we had like a porch uh and then there's a door where we walked into the house but there's you had to go through the porch first she was standing at the porch door and uh I was looking through the window that you walked through the house and I saw someone and I thought that it was the pizza man um because I did not recognize him so then I walked outside, and then my mom said that this is my dad, and I actually remember jumping off the steps and uh, hugging him and saying, Daddy! <laughs> but he did end up leaving a few weeks later, and he was just there to see me for a few weeks, and I have not seen him since. And then later I moved to preschool, and um, I made some pretty good friends, but my absolute best friend, I don't exactly remember his name, but I think it was Cole, and hey Cole, if you're watching this, hi. <laughs> but then I ended up moving cities, um, but I still made some pretty good friends there, and actually one of my best friends, her... Her name is Victoria, and we're still friends to this day. We've been friends ever since we were six years old. Well, I was six, she was seven. But, yeah. But nothing much happened in kindergarten and first grade. Everything was fine. I had plenty of friends. But then came second grade. This is when kids started getting really mean, and this is when I started getting picked on. Um, I'm still picked on to this day, but I've actually gotten used to it, and I know now just to ignore it. And I also had the worst te teacher there. Her name was Miss Kamiwiki. Like, there were a few teachers that people didn't like, but Miss Kamiwiki, everyone despised. Like, everyone hated her. She was so mean. I actually remember this one time where um, I bit into a pickle and I had vinegar in my eye from the pickle and it didn't sting that much but it did make my eye red and water and she yelled at me because she said I was crying um, and 
told me to go to the principal's office. And, oh my god, then after third grade came fourth grade. In fourth grade, there were kissing and boyfriends and breakups, and it was just horrible. And also, fourth grade, I had three classrooms because I was in a normal classroom being a normal kid for two months. Then they decided, hey, let's pick six kids to move to fifth grade classroom. And... I was one of them, so I did learn more stuff than I than the other kids in fourth grade, but now that I actually am in fifth grade, I'm learning the same stuff over again, so it's just kind of stupid, but then also, um, I actually remember in fourth grade, my bully, um, who you can learn more about if you go watch my video of my story time, I got bullied, uh, she... Um, what was I about to say? <clears throat> oh yeah, on the last day of school, she actually punched me in the stomach and pulled the chair on me, me a few times. Yeah, you can learn about that more, but that's when she started bullying me. And then here's fifth grade. Fifth grade's actually pretty good. I'm still picked on here and there, but I have a lot of good friends, and I can actually name a few of them now. Jessa and Jayla, they're really good friends of mine, and you can go follow Jessa, subscribe to Jessa on YouTube. Uh, her YouTube name is Blossom Wolf, no wait, Betta Wolf underscore Blossom, and go subscribe to her, please help her, she's, she's new to YouTube. And then also, this is the year that I started YouTube, and even though I just started, it's been amazing, and I can't wait to see what lies ahead. And thank you guys all so much for being on this journey with me. Or if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. It means so much. And I can't wait to go on this journey with you and make sure, um, look. Well, yeah, that's my life. It's had its ups and downs. And, but I'm pretty sure it will all turn be alright in the end. Anyway, guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, uh, bye!